witches, so today I'm going to be doing another school project. Now, I do a lot of these because it's really easy to just make a video for school project instead of actually having to write a whole essay. And even so, this project was actually a thing that we couldn't really write an essay. Our teacher had basically told us just do something creative with this information. So that's what I'm doing. I'm making a video. So, hi. What our project is is about carcinogens as well as cancer. I'll show you this. This is our study notes, or not study notes, our research notes. And it's just called Cancer Cell Division Gone Bad. What cancer is, is a mutation in a cell that caused the cell to rapidly divide faster than it should normally, and thus creating either a benign tumor or a malignant tumor. Now a benign tumor is just a lump that doesn't really have any purpose or it really doesn't affect anything in the body, it just kind of exists and is annoying and gets in the way. Now a malignant tumor can spread throughout the body and it's cancerous, so it could kill you, that if, if not treated right away. Or as soon as possible, really. Now a carcinogen is basically something in the environment or in the world that causes cancer. We were given a list of carcinogens to choose from and what I chose from that list was formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is a chemical used in adhesives, bonding agents, and solvents and it's most commonly found in pressed wood products such as paneling, particle board, and plywood. It's also found in foam insulation, wallpaper and paints, synthetic fabrics, and some cosmetics or personal products. Formaldehyde causes cancers such as nasopharynx cancer, nasal sinus cancer, and increased risk of leukemia. Symptoms of nasopharynx cancer include a lump in your throat caused by swollen lymph nodes, blood in your saliva, bloody discharge from your nose, nasal congestion, hearing loss, frequent ear infections, as well as headaches. To diagnose nasopharynx cancer, the tests can range from a physical exam to a biopsy, a CT scan, an MRI, or even a PET. To reduce your exposure to formaldehyde, which causes these horrible cancers such as nasopharynx cancer, you can make a rule of no smoking in or around your house, as well as quit smoking, clean wood-burning appliances and chimneys, don't idle near your home, keep idling vehicles away, use low VOC paints, and make sure your workspace is well ventilated. As well as, ventilate your house regularly, do a quote-unquote air change. What I would describe an air change is, is basically opening windows and doors in your house and just get air moving throughout your home. When you're living in your house and you haven't been going out much, you kind of got carbon dioxide all over your house. Even though it's not enough to kill you, it is still a lot. As well as, you can't really, like, you don't have clean air in your house because all the dust particles are in it and all these different things, such as formaldehyde, are now in your airspace. So, just open a few windows and doors, just let air start moving through your house. It may get a little cold, especially in the wintertime, but it's definitely worth it. And trust me, once you get all that nice new air in your house, it actually feels great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe, do what you want to do. I'll see you guys in the next video. Good.